Yeah, buddy. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog today. It's Saturday morning, and Sarah and I are back to a Saturday routine. Sarah brings the goods this morning. I got us a blueberry scone and myself a coffee in a safe, socially distanced pickup. I'm more of a fan of the cheap gas station coffee. Sarah <laughs> likes the good stuff. say that mission tire Nikita is complete this morning definitely good new park discovery we'll be back as you may have seen from about 10 seconds ago in the video our car was pretty dirty, so it's time for a car wash. Appreciate it, man. <sighs> All right. How's it look? It's so shiny. We can see through the windows again. Yeah. I should film all of my B-roll through the windshield all over again because yes. you can't see anything through the dirty windshield. Yeah. Hey, Nikita, you gonna keep it clean this time or what? Probably not. Do you ever have those days when you're just feeling tired? Not exactly physically tired, but you just, you just don't wanna do anything. You kind of melt into the couch, don't really have any motivation to do anything. For a lot of people, kind of lazing around is their way of recharging. For some reason, I kind of work the opposite. The more time I spend lying around, the more tired I feel. I'm currently in that state, it's now 7 p.m. on Sunday, and I haven't really done anything today. I found the best way for me to recharge is to by actually doing things, getting out of the house, accomplishing things, going for a bike ride. Even yesterday, you saw in the video already, us going to get a car wash, super simple, it takes 25 minutes, and I felt like I accomplished something, it gave me energy. So right now, it's 7 p.m., Sarah and I are gonna go for a bike ride and I'm gonna probably come back with more energy than I left with. Come join us. rode our bikes down to the end of Golden Gate Park to Queen Wilhelmina Park. I wanted to ask Sarah down here how she knows when she needs to recharge and how she actually recharges. I like to go for walks. Um, basically anything just getting outside helps me recharge. I like having quick power naps. If I'm, you know, working and, and feeling a little bit tired, I'll just close my eyes for like five minutes. Sarah, she's, she's underselling it. Sarah can be in the <laughs> middle of a sentence fall asleep out of nowhere with her hands on the keyboard, wake up five minutes later and then finish a sentence like nothing has happened. Yeah, I've always had, who knows if this is some sort of problem with myself, but I've always had this issue where I'll just kind of have an overwhelming tiredness come over me and I will fall asleep like no matter where I am. So I, I've just learned to give into it. It only lasts a few minutes and then I wake up feeling much more recharged and ready to go. I think giving myself just kind of sanctioned free time in the day like I'll you know if, if I'm frustrated or not getting anywhere just kind of 
allowing myself to look at my phone mindlessly for 20 minutes or read the news or watch something for like watch a YouTube video or something mm -hmm. um, quickly helps me. But yeah, walking, allowing myself to have a minute and sleeping. <laughs> I prefer to go bike until I'm about to pass out, come home and then fall asleep because I can't stay awake anymore. The worst nights are when it's like 2 a.m. and I find myself down a YouTube rabbit hole watching drone footage of lawns getting cut by expensive lawn mowers and things <laughs> like that. It happens. Your hair looks really cute right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Speaking of recharging, we haven't had dinner yet and I'm very hungry. Same. We, we should get home. Okay. <laughs>